And a 911 call turned out to be a hoax. Law enforcement officers quickly arrested a suspect accused of making a call to a Beaumont school. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. Officers with the Beaumont Police Department say it may not be the first time the suspect made a deliberate false emergency call to police or fire. Investigators have charged 33-year-old Jonathan Clifton with making a call to the Pathway School in Beaumont and falsely reporting that a student was holding a gun to a teacher's head. Investigators say the false emergency calls tie up first responders and keep them from real emergencies. Officers trace the call to a cell phone in the 1900 block of Tulane. Police found Clifton, seized his cell phone, and drove him to jail. Six News anchor Ashley Gaston reports on the response and reaction from officers who have to assume it's the real thing. They're carrying guns, blocking off streets, and patrolling the area. This is not a movie. It's, it's, it's a serious, serious uh, incident. BISD officers and Beaumont police stood watch outside the Pathways Learning Center on Tulane Street in Beaumont while officers went inside to search for a reported gunman. Two officers went to each room, and as we entered the room, we identified ourselves as police, told students and teachers, let us see their hands, make sure they didn't have any weapons. Once we were satisfied that no one in the room had a weapon, we advised the teacher, lock her door, don't let anyone in or out until we came back and told them it was all clear. While officers searched inside the Pathways Learning Center, the school district locked all of the doors of the Paul Brown Center to ensure all the students and staff inside were safe. Well, we take every, every incident uh, very seriously. Officers didn't find a gunman the first time they looked inside Pathways. Administrators evacuated the school to allow police to take another look. And we went back in and did what is a secondary suite where we go back in and make sure we didn't miss anyone. There wasn't anyone hiding or anything like that. Officers didn't find a gunman and the 911 call was a false alarm. But both departments say it offered a chance to keep students and staff safe, put into practice their training and prepare for any future response that might turn into a real emergency. In Beaumont, Ashley Gaston, KFDM 6 News. Detectives say Clifton is a suspect in other prank calls to police and fire beginning at the end of March. Clifton is charged with making a false alarm or report. The state jail felony could send him to prison for up to two years.